This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Three. Just uh, say what you want to about Vince. A lot of people have said, but he changed wrestling, didn't he? Yeah, certainly. And, and I think some of our listeners would argue that he changed it for the worse, but most would agree that he changed it for the better. I mean, it's certainly, you know, and don't get me wrong. I, I miss the old stuff too, but guys are making more money with Vince than anywhere else ever. So you just look at the number of millionaires that Vince created. Yeah. And, uh, I think that tells the story. Well, I think about the old days and, you know, a lot of the stuff was on, uh, that you see now, and I've been watching some of it on vice dark side of the ring. And you hear, uh, guys like, uh, Dr. D David Schultz, Eddie Mansfield. Uh, and you, and you hear them talk about the old days in wrestling and how, and we're talking about back long before big TV and, and, but how the guys didn't make much money and they didn't make, and they had to travel and they had no insurance. And it was just, uh, it was uh, it, to be a, a wrestler back in the day. And when I say back in the day, you've got to say, you got to say, uh, eighties, and, uh, and just, beyond, can I just tell right? you that uh, I get annoyed when I hear that a lot, but just, oh, there was no money in it. And the insurance was bad and the travel sucked. Well, get another fucking job. Right. You yes. Know, like, I, I like, agree. God damn, nobody's I, keeping you here. It's like you were forced in by the fucking mob. If you didn't like what the way the job was, pick a fucking another one. I or, love it. Or go on TV and be an absolute cock bag. And try to ruin it for everybody else and, and, and turn your back on the brotherhood that welcomes you in mm -hmm. thinking that's going to be your key to fame and then wind up being a fucking insurance broker and goddamn Paducah, you motherfucker. Wow. I just, I'm, I'm so annoyed by Eddie Mansfield. How about Eric Bischoff <laughs> yakking all over that chick and the yak on the up. fans. Look at the fans. <laughs> Look at... Oh. This is probably Look. what. <laughs> Well, somebody said, you're going to have to do a podcast with Conrad Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no just, man. I get so I, burnt I, out on people saying, oh, things were tough back then. I just, well, they, we had it they so were, Pick another fucking job. Yeah, that's true. And, and listen, I agree with everything you're saying, but what I'm just trying to say is how it's changed for the boys for the better. But, but also too, you know, in those same days where those guys were complaining, whoever was on top was making big money. Yeah. You know, we've seen canceled checks from Harley race in that era and Jack Briscoe in that era and Rick flair in that era, you know, Rick was making, you know, six, seven, eight, nine grand for some of these events that weren't televised because he quote unquote drew the house. Sure. So yeah, if, if you're not happy with your spot on the card and you feel like the system is rigged and it's not allowing you to move up, go do something else. That's what people in the real world do. Mm. Hey, I tried selling cars. That fucking business sucked. Now I sell houses or cell phones or something else, but you took your skill set and you applied it somewhere else, but just stay in there and, Oh, people aren't fair. I've been mistreated. You're a fucking loser. Tell him buddy, you know, that's, that's good stuff. And it comes from somebody I know who's a self-made man. So well, I'm just there saying like, quick, wait, no, you are you, can, I mean, like, fuck man. I, I won't, I won't the, the credit. <laughs> so I'm going to ask a question of you. Uh oh, no, it, it's, it's a wrestling related question. It's, 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 uh, chat me up, smart me up, whatever you want to say. Okay. Okay. Uh, talk about at this time or even from now until the performance center opened up about developmental territories. Yeah. They were using uh, OVW here and they were using uh, a little bit of deep South. So deep That's, South was based in Atlanta. That was Jody Hamilton's promotion and OVW. Um, was in Kentucky and OVW really cranked out most of the stars. And then they would, uh, start a, a Florida territory with Steve Kern that would eventually <laughs> become NXT. And he sort of got squeezed out of there. Wow. Surprising. Uh, so, so did they fund these territories? They just send guys there and pay, I, you know, it's, it, that's, those are interesting stories. Uh, how so, about the work between the WWE and the developmental territories? I think it's very interesting stuff. So these Monday and coming soon to add free shows, working on something pretty special for that road trip between Tony Schiavone and Jim Ross. Stay tuned. Adfreeshows.com is going to have your hookup, but right now 
We want you to hook up that WWE network, May 19th, 2003, a very special edition of Monday night raw. You've never seen this and, uh, man, you want to talk about a special show, especially if you're a Ric Flair fan, I think you're going to be all into this one, Tony. I really do. I think so too. And I, I, we probably got some pretty good interviews that we can track and listen to together. That's become and something then, uh, that people online really love when you and I yell track it. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of things that a lot of just things that we think are just subtle shit that fans really pick up on. I'm not mad at it. No, I'm not either. It, it means they're listening. So I appreciate it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.